Would you buy a Pokemon NFT? It's not me asking, it's actually the Pokemon company. We've got a lot to talk about. All right, as of two days ago, the Pokemon company has posted a job opportunity for Game Freak Careers, and this is a very specific job opportunity that ties into Web3 cryptocurrency, blockchain technologies, and slash or metaverse. Now, listen, this doesn't necessarily mean that Pokemon is dropping NFTs, but it's certainly a topic of conversation as many have tried in the past. If you guys didn't know, during kind of the cryptocurrency boom, there was a handful of places and people that tried to replicate the Pokemon franchise and release them as NFTs. Pokemon Company ended up taking down at least a few of them. The Pokemon Company took an Aussie crypto company to court. Only the Pokemon Company apparently showed up, and obviously that was a pretty easy victory for them. But they do have this post up. They're looking for someone to lead this team with 12 plus years of work experience and a deep knowledge and understanding of Web3, including blockchain technologies and NFT. So I found this to be quite interesting. And, and you know, I just want to say to get my perspective out of the way so you guys know, I don't own a single NFT, right? Like I don't own a single one. I have dabbled in cryptocurrency over the years. I don't really have anything substantial nowadays and I don't really actively follow the community. Um, I'm someone who simply is looking at this like, okay, I just want to observe the situation. I'm not really interested in getting involved personally myself. But I did propose the question on Twitter, would you buy a Pokemon NFT if they sold 100 of each deck slot? I was just curious what people would say, and I got some really interesting responses. The first one that comes up is, are you seriously endorsing NFTs right now? No, I'm simply asking a question. <laughs> My buddy Bikini Body, a very popular content creator, says, after the last couple games, this would probably be the nail in the coffin for me. So Bikini has some, you know, maybe less than positive opinions about the recent Pokemon games, feeling that if they were to go down the cryptocurrency NFT route, then this could be a negative thing, uh, right? And it would it would even turn the franchise more sour. Before I read some of these other comments, I, I do want to, again, emphasize that, like, even though they're looking for this position, it doesn't necessarily mean NFT. It could be other types of Web3. And there are some different types of Web3 kind of functionalities that are not this kind of, uh, you know, NFT negative vibe that a lot of people have towards it. So I, I would just like hold, you know, proper judgment, but I do think it's very feasible or possible that they could go this route. And that's why we wanted to get some thoughts. Cody Reese says, I would buy it if the company made this shift, regardless of the public outcry. Why not? It's a low risk gamble on a massive IP. And Pokemon, of course, is the largest video game franchise in the world. That's like a spoon being put on the table, but still eating your soup with a fork. All because some people on Twitter told you they don't like spoons. Very, very interesting take from Cody there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I like this take from Naaman Ang says, honestly, it's already like that somehow. Not 100% identical, but still. Right now on eBay, you can already buy a Shiny Hat Go Pichu for $200, and they're limited quantities. So it would just be an officialization of something that's already there somehow. And Naaman, this actually brings me back to the days of me playing Pokemon X and Y. There was a very brief period of time in Pokemon X and Y's lifespan where there was no Pokemon gen. There was no like hacking of Pokemon because Pokemon Bank, I believe at the time, didn't exist. And as a result of that, there was no way to like transfer Pokemon or maybe it wasn't active for X and Y if I remember correctly. But either way, the Pokemon that were in X and Y were legit. Like there was no way to hack Pokemon for this few month period of time. And ultimately what was nuts about that is we saw things like Shinies going on eBay people would offer them to trade and I know that this is something that's happened in Pokemon Go and we've seen it in other games as well and obviously we see it with the TCG market which is a tangible good at least so that's very different but in the context of these kind of digital goods I guess the, the, the difference here is you know you have kind of verifiable ownership of something and legitimacy of something with kind of blockchain technologies whereas in this case someone's just you know claiming to sell this Pichu and then they have to go through this process of kind of trading through the functionalities within the app so anyway very interesting take there like I said it brought me back to the days of, of X and Y where people were legitimately selling shinies and I think we've even seen in previous games like sword and shield and stuff people selling access to get traded shinies and stuff so again the concept already exists in a different way if you're really thinking about it soft skeletons here says 1000% nope I'm tired of nfts and the like I'd rather pay for something I could physically own and hold. And I think that Skelly here has a sentiment that is echoed by many, many people. So I'm not surprised to kind of see that. And if you look through these comments, guys, there was a ton of people who took their time to respond and give me their opinion. So I do appreciate that. I mean, we're, we're sitting, I, I would say like 95% of the comments 
are negative people saying that they would not have any interest in nfts or anything related to that with the pokemon company so if you're watching this pokemon company you know maybe maybe check on that <laughs> by the way if you guys didn't see we just dropped three brand new shirts for teamshiny.com we have a ton of awesome shiny merchandise there and you guys can go to teamshiny.com to pick it up today we just dropped the shiny hydreigon vax caliber and gudra absolute must-haves but you can check through our categories we got a ton of awesome shirts so don't miss out at teamshiny.com in terms of other news speaking of my x and y story and the eShop and all that stuff serby.net reminds you that you have just two weeks left to make any purchases of desired Nintendo 3DS or Wii U games on the eShops before they go down on March 27th. So if you're someone who actively is playing your 3DS, man, you're gonna wanna grab any of those games because they're gonna shut down those eShops. And it's crazy that they're closing down an era. I feel like I didn't really consider this a big deal until like now where I feel like I'm, I'm reporting on it. It's really hitting me because like, this is, you know, I don't really pick up my 3DS, but I spent a lot of time playing that console. I probably played a 3DS more than any other console in my life if I really think about it because of how much I streamed and made videos over the years. Uh, it's wild to think, uh, although, Call of Duty on PlayStation 3 may have make it make a run for it, but I think the 3DS actually trumps it by far now that I think about it. Yeah, that's wild. So anyway, just grab your stuff now while you have a chance if you want to save it on your console. And the last thing I think that's really important to mention here is Ku made a post, and this was going around. I didn't want to make a dedicated video for it because it was kind of in passing, but he said Scarlet and Violet Regulation C hinted that home will be available between April and June. Also, move resets should not be a thing according to the description below and then post kind of the English version. This is saying on Saturday, April 1st to Friday, June 30th, they're gonna have this rank set C. Paldea Pokemon 01 to 398 are eligible. Certain Pokemon may not be used. And then it says only Pokemon obtained in Pokemon Scarlet or Violet games are eligible. So they're thinking, okay, this could have something to do with Pokemon Home. Serebii.net does report on this. Joe says there's been talk about Scarlet and Violet home date based on regulation. Uh, issue is both posts from December and January say the same. So I, I know that this was something that was spread around a lot. Like Pokemon Home is coming at this time, but uh, Joe points out that, that that's not anything new. So it's unlikely that that's going to be any sort of indicator, but we're still waiting on it. I don't know what's going to happen. There was some people posting about an interesting thing where like Electrode has Sucker Punch in Yono's gym, I guess, or something like that. And I can't learn that unless the move transfers. So people are thinking that maybe they're going to do move transfers soon. So there's a lot of whispers about the Pokemon Home stuff, but maybe they'll time it nicely with the eShop closing. I don't know. They're probably not related at all. But that's about that. So give me your thoughts, guys, on the NFT blockchain Web3 technology for Pokemon. Again, I'm not saying one way or the other here. The reality of it is they're clearly looking for someone to fill this position. And maybe they're going to get their feet wet. I don't know if the community is going to be very receptive to it. There's a very negative perception towards NFTs and blockchain technology and Web3, even Metaverse. I know Meta, the Facebook company, is not exactly doing super well. So it's an interesting space, no doubt about it. And I said my personal take is I like to just observe in this situation a lot of people ask me about my game Elestrals I vowed to not touch anything related to NFTs and cryptocurrency with Elestrals but that's just my take you know what I mean I find this stuff fascinating and it's interesting to watch on the sidelines and watch it develop but again a very negative opinion towards this so I don't I don't know what the Pokemon company is working towards but we probably won't hear about it for a while if you enjoyed this video you should check out this one right here and I'll see you guys next time